Hello, this uh, video will show us how to um, copy and paste email addresses from a uh, Microsoft Word document uh, shown here on the left and uh, paste them in to uh, an email uh, that you will compose using Gmail. So let's begin. So step number one is to mark the block. Um, this is a common application. Uh, we wish to actually mark or highlight the entire block of email addresses. So why don't I just focus on that screen alone. So two ways to do it. One is just to put the cursor at the top left hand corner of your data and hold down the shift key and then press the down key until the entire block of information has been marked. So as you can see there's highlighting in this case light blue um, on the background and the information is now ready to be copied to the palette. But there's a second way to mark it. Let's unmark it by just hitting a, uh, the left key and this time you can put the cursor anywhere you want and hold uh, you can uh, you can uh, mark the entire block by holding down the control key and hitting the A key and there you see the entire block is marked. So the next step after uh, you've highlighted the uh, block of data, in this case email addresses, it's marked here because we can see the blue background in this case. So there's a couple of different ways to copy this information to the palette. Now remember that the palette is invisible and you just have to trust me on this next step. So two different ways. One is to simply go up the top left hand corner up here and um, there's the uh, copy icon. If you click on it, the data is uh, now been posted to the palette, even though there's no uh, way of knowing it. It's an invisible thing. You just have to trust me on it. So the other way is, of course, uh, once the uh, data is uh, already marked, um, you simply right click on the data and there's the copy icon again. So there it is. All right, so let's focus now on how to actually post it into an email. So we're just going to uh, focus on the Gmail application. Of course, we know that the uh, compose a new email um, icon is on the uh, left hand side. Let's go ahead and click that. And immediately to the right, um, a new email opens up. And not only that, but the cursor is flashing on the two um, uh, field, which is uh, where we're going to put the recipient names. And um, so uh, the uh, palette already has all the uh, email addresses laying on top of it. Um, a couple of different ways you can paste this uh, in. Um, one is just to right click. Um, when the cursor is flashing in the two box and the paste icon will come up and as soon as you hit paste all the email addresses come in and the neat thing is it takes all the individual email addresses and uh, separates them and puts them in the uh, to button and now you can go ahead and um, type into your uh, subject line. This is a test. And um, so now that uh, you can see uh, the email addresses, uh, reads the first guy who is uh, V. O'Neill there. And on the right hand side, uh, there's a few more names. And uh, then this is 17 more there. So we have now composed the email and so if we go down and hit the send key and click it, that email goes to um, all 20 some odd 
guys that are on that database. So uh, that's um, how you paste them in. Uh, but I'm going to X that out and show you the second way to paste it in. So we're going to open up another, uh, uh, compose another email. This time uh, we can see the cursor is flashing in the to field. Um, show you uh, an either even simpler way to paste them in. Hold down the control key and hit the V like Victor key. And there, once uh, there's the next method of posting all those in. So um, then you can send the email. So that's how it's done.